Okay, now we've got our very last method. It is called the specific identification. So let's erase that. And we will put down uh, specific identification. The specific identification uh, tells you specifically which ones you sold. Okay? So on any homework problems, it would have to tell you which ones were sold. So we have beginning inventory, 10 of 10. These are basketballs. And then we purchase, let's go back to our other example. Uh, we purchased 20 of them at $11. Uh, so we've got an inventory. We've got 10 at 10, 20 at 11. And now we're selling uh, 10 of them. And when we sell 10, uh, let's say that we sold five of each, five of the $10 ones, five of the 11. So we have five at 10 and five at 11. So that's $50 and $55. So what do we have left? We've got five left at 10 and 15 left at 11. We're kind of running out of space here. Now we're purchasing 20 at 12.50. So what do we have? I'm gonna write a line there so we can see where we're at. We have five at 10, 15 at 11, and then we purchase 20 more basketballs at 12.50. And now the last one is we sold 20 of them. Okay, we sold 20 of them. No, I'm sorry, we sold 15. We sold 15. And let's say the problem says we sold the $11 ones. Okay, it could have been any of them, but the problem tells us uh, it was 15 of the $11 ones. So 15 at 11 gives us 165. So then what do we have left? We have five at 10. None of the eleven dollar ones because we just sold them, and twenty at twelve fifty, and our cost of goods sold would be ten and eleven seventeen two hundred and seventy dollars would be our total cost of goods sold. Okay, so now we've gone over all the methods: specific identification, weighted average, LIFO, and FIFO. Now I just want to point out one more time that. Uh, with these methods, this is just the inventory and cost of goods sold that we're looking at. We're not looking at the sale. So when we sold 11 and of $15, that was the cost of goods sold calculation and the reduction of inventory. We would have sold the, the basketballs for more than that. So the, uh, let's say we would have sold these, these basketballs for $20 each, okay? Well, then that says that we have, uh, let's say they paid cash, so we got cash of 300 and you have sales of 300 and then this is for this part of the entry, the cost of goods sold of 165 and inventory, okay? So this calculation is the cost of goods sold, the second part of our, our transaction. So we haven't been dealing with this at all in this chapter. Even though this would take place, that's not what we're concentrating on in this chapter. What we're concentrating on is this part of the transaction, the cost of goods sold in inventory. Okay, so I hope that makes sense and good luck with the rest of the chapter.